brainstorming so many different ways to do it. But I need to get to the Super Bowl by the real life Super Bowl, but there's just, I don't know how it's gonna happen. Debo, got him. Okay, good, good. That's what we need. Here we go. Here we go. Well, that didn't look very difficult for you. The amount of times I hit him, bro. I cannot wait to watch this. What I predict can be. win the Super Bowl to become a season's champion. And what did we say? If there's one man on earth who can say, boys, I will get you a Super Bowl wheel of mutt the day of the Super Bowl. And after a tumultuous 10 and three season, we lost the first game of this season. The very first game. At one point we were one and two. Since then, we've won nine games and lost one. And now it's up to the Super Bowl. And as it says right there, there is no pressure. There might be a little pressure, but I'm undefeated in the gay pride Versace robe and I'm undefeated in Super Bowls this season. There have only been two years of Wheel of Mutt where I've actually lost a Super Bowl. It's still nothing is worse. And I don't feel like walking that lonely path today. I think I want to be like Tom Brady and I want to win. Now, I don't know what's going to transpire in the real Super Bowl. Just kidding. This is the real Super Bowl. The real Super Bowl is just copying Wheel of Mutt, actually, because Wheel of Mutt's going to post before the real Super Bowl. Gentlemen, I ask you one question before we get these wheel spins, before we spin this challenger on before we fight our asses off. I ask you, do you believe? Do you believe that Papa Means could march all the way to the Super Bowl and clutch up for the boys on this incredible day of football? Only you can answer that question. But I can tell you that no matter what happens today, I'm gonna leave my heart on the line. I'm gonna do everything I can. Clutch this puppy up. We're a 94 overall. So many monsters, so many excellent players who have done so many excellent things for this team. And one of them will be carried on to next season. Who that prestige is you'll have to watch episode one of the next season to find out i will say though actually you know what i'll tell you at the end of this video i won't spoil that quite yet without further ado ladies and gentlemen it's wheel spin time are you anxious because i'm anxious but it's good it's nervous butterflies like muhammad ali used to get yes i am comparing myself and wheel of mutt to the greatest boxer of all time do you have a problem with that okay i know muhammad ali's not the greatest boxer of all time it's jake paul yeah. Yeah. whatever all right baby i think i would take a legitimate fullback. If I get like a 93 or 94 overall fullback, I really don't know. <laughs> okay, so I basically need the positions wheel to land on backfield. I need to land on fullback. No shot, no shot, no shot, no shot. That's actually... It landing on O-line is actually good because that will be a legitimate upgrade. Oh my God, I am so happy we just got this actually. You know who I've wanted for so long? I was never able to get my hands on it. 95 Quentin Nelson. The only player that has truly eluded me this entire season is Micah Parsons. I wanted Micah Parsons so bad. I think I'll make it a point to snag him somehow next season. But uh, for now, yeah, 95 Quentin Nelson series redux off of that limited. Ever since this came out, I was like, bro, I love Quentin Nelson. He's a limited, which is the nasty card art. I gotta get a hold of him. So this is good. Definitely will take this before we head into a Super Bowl. All right, so on this final wheel spin, I actually have a really good idea. It would be kind of cheese, but I have a really good idea. Let me see what we get first. Team of the Week. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Here's what I'm thinking in my head, right? This is Team of the Week jackpot. I'm sure I could get, I'm sure there's a lot of godly players I could get. But what if instead of that, what if I got Cooper Cup? What if I got Cooper Cup and then whatever, a week from now when they when they announce NFL honors and put the cards in the game, they're going to put a 98 overall Cooper Cup in the game. Then I can prestige my Team of the Week Cooper Cup and I can start next season with what would literally, I think at that point, be a 99 overall wide receiver. 
We're gonna need it. You know, in my head, you know what I was thinking, guys? In my head, I was thinking I should pack a punch Debo because then you guys can see his team of the year card. But I don't know. We've done so much with Debo this year. Do I really, do I really need to pack a punch Debo? You have a whole nother season with Debo. We haven't gotten to use the best wide receiver in the NFL, Cooper Cup. I am so fucking glad that was team of the week jackpot. I was thinking there's a million different ways I could have gotten Cooper Cup, and that's one of them. Either way, he's my wide receiver for now. He likely won't have any impact on the Super Bowl today. But after he gets that honors card, he's gonna be a god. I hate to spoil the prestige, but if we win here today, I think I'm gonna prestige Cooper Cup. If I lose, I might reevaluate. 94 overall team, we have a brand new Quentin Nelson and a Cooper Cup sitting in there just waiting to get a prestige. Cooper Cup, he's just got so much more grit. It's such a high motor. Pack your fucking bags. We're heading to Los Angeles. We're heading to SoFi Stadium. We're 10 and three. It is finally time. The final thing to hurdle is this challenge wheel right here, which will be very clutch for our new season. If we can clutch up and complete it, it's a touchdown with a player from the first ever WOM. This doesn't mean my first literal ever WOM, it means from the first episode. I need a touchdown with either DK or Darren Wall. I'm not gonna force it. This is a fucking Super Bowl, I'm not forcing shit. But if it happens naturally, let's go get it. Let's fucking go! Oh my God. Hello? Hello? Urban Meyer? John Gruden? Yes, yes I'm dialed, yes. You know I'm dialed, baby. X Ghost NF. He's the New England Patriots. They are no, they are no strangers to the Super Bowl. That much is for sure. Coin toss. Who's got the coin toss, baby? This looks like my kick return team. No. Yes. Yes. Holy shit. I saw Kyle Pitts. I thought it was my return team. Yes. Look at the Super Bowl logos on the field. Uh, let's play smart. If we get a stop on the opening drive. Oh my goodness. I would just go ballistic. Let's see what he wants. I'm over here. Oh no. Oh, thank God Randy Moss didn't get that block, bro. Holy shit, he got that block. I might actually have been in trouble. All right, we're gonna go Josh Allen, QB spy. I'm actually gonna keep the purple out there. Same play. At literal exact same play. There's nothing open! What are you doing? What are you fucking doing? This is the Super Bowl! Isaiah Simmons with a joke! Jared Cook, you're slow! That's a fucking big six! Oh my God! Where are you throwing? Let's go, baby! We're built for this! We've been here! This ain't my first fucking rodeo, baby. You know how many rings I got on this finger? From this year alone? Come on! Momentum in our favor. Seven on the board. This Super Bowl just started. What are you doing, Mike Vick? You psychopath. We've got the X Factor on Simmons, which I really like here. I'm gonna guess pass again. Oh, he wants to go under. Oh. He does not want to go under. Gonna get rocked by Sean T. We're not out of the woods yet, boys. This game just started. He's clearly got a deep playbook. He knows the same thing that I know, which is you get nervous sometimes out here. That's a run. Yes, sir. I'm gonna, I gotta sit middle. I can't sell out. Oh, oh my God, my fake throws a fucking mallard. Let's fucking go. I don't even know how to react to that, to be honest with you. Jonathan Vilma in the middle, has got legends. What type of team is this? Richard Sherman, Fred Warner, Vita Vea. I don't think there's any theme to this. I think he's just got the best team he could possibly build. Excellent fucking, oh, I was gonna say excellent blocking. Second and eight. Oh shit. Look at that pass, oh wait, two blocks, yup! Knew it. I had a beautiful pick six, but I was gifted a possession there from a mallard of a throw. First and 10, I'm looking for the peak zone. It's there, it's there. Uh, maybe not. Dude, what's the momentum? So I have hotter routes, home team can hot route faster. We have improved catching on the final layer of momentum. He sunk on Peterson, he's just too damn slow. Another jukebox, two, and that's a first down. First and 10, I don't wanna abuse him too much and end up fumbling, so let's cover the rock when we hit this hole here. Great blocks, nope, I lied, I lied. Second and 11, I like those blocks. I like that juke too, and I get one more and he's gonna, dude, he is earning his fucking spot. I love it, AP. Double team the right side, ew, I know that Tebow doesn't wanna roll here though. Oh, Tebow. No, not what I wanted, that sucks. Damn it, I thought there was a free lane right there. Let's pin this, 10 to zero. Great kick, McPherson. Three minutes left, I get the ball at half. Let's hang on to this lead, boys. Oh, that wasn't play action? <laughs> he got fucking hammered anyway. I thought that was play action for sure. We know this is a pass. He wants this one, he wants this one. It's not there! That's desperation football. He just let me crack my Vic. The blitz is there. Oh no, it's not. I knew it! I fucking knew he was gonna go there! Oh, I wish I was faster. He's gonna roll left. Same thing, he wants to throw here! 
Neil, I fucking knew you'd do that shit twice. Come on, Entourage. Oh, we were close. Beautiful, beautiful pick. I knew he was coming right back to that. Let's go. A minute 18. I don't want a field goal. No, I don't want a field goal. I want a touchdown. I want a 17 to zero ball at half. I will eat this clock. Let's read it. Oh, he bit. I should have gone Tebow, but you know what? We're gonna pick up nine anyway. I think I made the right call. And I'm gonna I'm gonna no huddle it. He's gonna bite and Tebow's gonna have fucking daylight. He bites. Tebow he fell! Oh wait. Damn, that corner reacted a lot better than I thought. I gotta get Darren Waller, DK Metcalf a touchdown if I really wanna get that challenge done. That would be important. He does not take Metcalf. Let's feed it to him. Don't get hit too hard, buddy. Warner is not on Darren Waller! Oh. What is that animation, guys? Fourth and two, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it right there. I can hit Darren Waller in the middle and then spike it. Uh, no, let's do this. No way, Matt. No way, Matt. McPherson, just like in real life, is clutching up right now. I mean, it is nice. 13 to zero is very nice, right? But here's the thing. If I even get another field goal, another field goal is 16 to zero. That is a two possession game if you were to score and get two two point conversions. So really nice to have the points on the board. Damn, imagine if I didn't choke those drives, it's 21 to zero. Deep play pass and blitz. And I'm gonna send Isaiah Simmons as well. Oh, maybe not, maybe not actually. Perfect coverage. I don't like this. I don't like. Who the fuck? The motherfucker. Did. Uh oh. Did. Down. Did. 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 Why are you in? Why the fuck are you in my safety? Don't do that in the Super Bowl. What? Oh my god. Has he been in this whole game? He just made a nasty catch. And technically, that's how you might play a Hail Mary sometimes. So I'm very proud of him. But what the fuck? When you play a game of football, you play to win. You do not play to not lose. Let's get the fuck out there. Let's play, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We play to win. Yes, sir. Clear that fucking lane, dude. Clear that fucking lane. Let's go. Great, great, great stretch. I think the read option is still going to be there, too, because they're, they're biting on AP right now. I'll just do this. Oh, getting around the user. Holy shit, Tebow. Are you serious? Are you really built like that? This ground game. The ground game. We have finally resuscitated. We have finally resuscitated the fucking ground game in the Super Bowl. Look at this. Eight rushes, 61 yards. Tebow. Tebow's got at least a 30 bomb, I'd say. It's not that fancy either, bro. That's Smash Mouth football. 30 13. Let's go, baby. Great blocks. Darren Waller. Oh, no, that's sketchy match. Oh, my fucking God. What? Darren Waller. That's why you're in the first month. That's why you're my prestige. My fucking rock, dude. That guy anchors this squad. Look at this animation. Get up, get big. Holy shit, I'm actually seeing stars right now. Holy fuck. Challenge complete, and this game is iced. And this shit's over. It's a three possession game with four minutes left. Not even the fucking Atlanta Falcons could choke this lead. Tim Tebow, right up the middle. I'm not scared of you! <laughs> Maybe I should be. I fumbled on the point one and he picks it up. Two possession lead regardless. That was that was definitely the play right there. Does he scramble? He does. Shaq Thompson. Yikes. Play deep, QB spy, QB contain. There's play action. Is he gonna roll? Oh no. That might have been like straight up rage quit inducing. Hey, we play to win. We don't play to not lose. I'm blitzing. Yo. Yo! Come on! I own you! I own your poverty ass New England Patriots franchise. Play action? Of course. I own you! Chase Young! Shit is over! I think out of respect, we should get Debo's final touchdown. Debo is one touchdown away from becoming a god. Let's get it to him. Yeah? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. That's open. Oh, we're gonna actually hand it off. Ow. Fourth and 10, I'm actually gonna go for it. I want my Debo touchdown. Debo, you, he has to be fuming. Yeah, he's gone. He's, he's gone. Oh my, let's go. Oh my God, I own you, I literally own you. We did it. We straight up just did it. From the first play of the game, he knew that I owned his poverty franchise. That is a win in the Super Bowl, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't believe it. And I can't believe Darren Waller. Darren fucking Waller got up like a savage and aggroed that thing, dude. He aggroed that thing. God, it was so amazing. That was the play of the game. It was 13 to zero. I was still a little nervous, you know, two touchdowns, 14 to 13. I don't like that.
Can you ask for anything better, gentlemen? Can you ask for anything better than a Super Bowl opening drive pick six from Isaiah Simmons? Roses and rings to every single player on this team. One of the best Wheel of Mutt teams I've ever had. A star-studded cast, and it ended with a Chase Young sack and a Debo Samuel catch. For those of our members who will not be staying with us, DK Metcalf Corner is one of them. If you guys remember, I said I'm only allowing myself one season with DK Metcalf Corner. Uh, after that, I'll actually have to choose. So I could go DK wide receiver or DK corner. It's up to me to make that decision. Oh, uh, but I can't have both anymore. I don't think I want to do it for another season. Shaq Thompson, invaluable service. For a 93 overall, you played your fucking heart out, dude. I love it. Josh Allen, the better Josh Allen. You as well. Hassan Reddick and Chase Young, late additions, but huge additions. And Warren Sapp, I honestly want to clap it up for you. You know, Darrell Revis may have had one of the biggest plays of our playoff run, that insane pick six in a close game, to really turn the tides in our favor. But Warren Sapp played like a 99 overall as a 91 D tackle. He had a huge tackle in the Super Bowl too. Tim Tebow, a man of faith, a man of God. A man who definitely believes in the powers of Wheel of Mud and having a gigantic cock. Let's go. Kyle Pitts. Yeah, you really didn't do shit. You're kind of like Eric Weddle if the Rams win the Super Bowl. You didn't really do shit. Congrats. You got a, you got a Super Bowl. And no other Atlanta Falcons players can say they have a Super Bowl. So, good for you. Jay Jettas, a late addition. Honestly, didn't do shit either, but that's okay. I'm happy you're here to see it. Adrian Peterson, one of the most clutch playoff players that we've had in a long time. Never fumbled in the playoffs. How impressive. DK Metcalf, your service is invaluable, although it wasn't needed so much this season. We've relied on you heavily, so you can finally rest your back. Debo Samuel. Made some tough catches as a low overall, and I'm really proud of you. And Cooper fucking Cup. You actually didn't do shit. But next season, I think you're gonna be our MVP. Boys, it's been one hell of a season. We are going to take, this is what I wanted to tell you guys at the start of the episode. We're gonna take about a two-ish week break from Wheel of Mutt after this super fucking heater. And here's why. We've been grinding Wheel of Mutt, and I was thinking to myself, you know, I came up with Wheel of Mutt so long ago. I think it's about time I brainstorm a Heater, heater new series. Really put the creative juices in there, stick my cock in it and swirl it around. And I did it. I thought of a banger series and I cannot wait to record it and post it. So you're gonna see that whole new series. I promise you guys are gonna love it. It is sick. And once that series is done, we'll be right back for the final season of Wheel of Mud Madden 22. After that, we've got theme teams. I will be assembling God squads. I take that back. I won't be assembling. If any of you have theme teams, I'll be using your team, but we will be getting game play with these decked out NFL theme teams. It'll be, you know, Bills theme team, Chiefs theme team, Bengals theme team, whatever. All the best players from that team. After that, you've got Wheel of 2K. And after that, you've got Madden 23. And in between there, it's gonna be a bunch of vlogs. I'll probably get a girlfriend and she'll dump me. I'll definitely keep doing MMG Live as well. Let's get butt fucking naked for that new series. It's gonna be so much fun. I'll see you guys uh, in the new season of Wheel of Mutt in about three weeks. The, also, the reason I say that is like, I want this Cooper Cup prestige, right? And I have to wait for that to drop anyway. So we have to take at least a week break regardless. I love you boys. You already knew Papa Migs is gonna get is gonna get that new jewelry. Jury. Fucking love you boys. Great though. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.